Hello and welcome to Bike Nation, I'm Bryn Lucas. Now I've got the HJC TR1 helmet in front of me, the entire range from 2014. There are different color options to so check out Bike Nation where you'll see everything that is available to you. Also have a look at the video for the 2015 range, that's the Revolt range from the TR1s. Loads of great color choices there as well, so make sure you check that out. Now stay tuned because in the next few minutes I'm gonna to get to grips with one of these helmets, pull it apart, see all the features, so you don't wanna miss that. Well, to start off with, it's made from a polycarbonate shell, which is extremely tough, as you'd expect from an HJC helmet, but also it's very, very light as well. And because it's been designed using CAD technology, that's computer design to you and me, it's very, very comfortable. Now, if we move our attention to the visor, quite a lot of features here. To start off with, you've got the tab to raise it and lower it. It's a simple tab. It's not one of those tricky ones, or it's not too flash does its job fairly functional. But what I do like about it is on this side of the helmet, you've got a little lever, a little switch here. And if you push it in, it locks the helmet in place. So if you're on a track day or you're riding along on the motorway and you want to make sure it doesn't lift up, you can simply push it with your glove, with your finger, and it locks it down there, which is a nice little touch. Also, if you want to change your visor over, maybe you put a tinted one in there, you may not need to with this helmet, but if you did want to, there's a very simple system, the quick release system here, the rapid fire system. Just pull this lever towards you, off it comes, do the same on the other side, the visor comes off completely. Line the next one up, push it in, it clicks in place, and Bob's your uncle. Now I mentioned the tinted visor. You don't need a tinted visor with this one because it's got one built in just there. Move the lever forward, down it comes. Nice sun visor for you, so you don't need to wear your glasses, but if you do, there's grooves in the fabric there in the pads for you. But this works using a lever at the back. Push the lever forward, down comes the sun visor, press the button in front of it, and it retracts. I'll show you again, down it comes, press the button, and up it goes. It's very nice and simple, great design for you, and easy to touch when you've got gloves on. If we move our attention now then to the ventilation, you wanna be cool when you're riding along. You've got a little vent here on the front that directs airflow across the front of your face, keeps you nice and cool. You've also got these two air vents on the top, which you can reach with your gloves, and you can feel them through your gloves as well. And what I like about these vents here is if you move them forward and close them, it actually seals off the gap entirely rather than having a hole still for the air to catch into. So the air gets directed over the top of the helmet. That keeps your head nice and cool. The hot air needs to be able to get out and you've got these four little vents at the back, two gauzes here and two lower down there as well. That gets all the hot air out the way and keeps you feeling nice and fresh. But what about the inside? Well, let's have a quick look. Now, the pads are breathable. They'll help to keep you nice and dry. But if you want to give them a clean, then this helmet's got a little party trick. You can pull out all the padding. All you do is reach in there, find the pad itself, and you can pull it away from its poppers. It feels like you're being quite brutal the first time, but don't worry, it's made of stern stuff. Out this comes, that's the first one. There you go, one cheek pad. Out comes the other side. There you go. And you can see how thick they are from there as well. They do give you a lot of cushion. Now, you can also pull out the back pad too. This is your head pad. Out that one comes and the chin one too if you want to. So you can see the hole inside. Let's go back then, shall we? So you can give it a nice clean. You can put it all back together and wear it as much as you like. The visor has got nice little pins on the side here. These have been designed to allow you to put on one of these, a pin lock fog resistant insert lens. Now it doesn't come in the box, but you can get one from Bike Nation. So do give the Bike Nation team a call or order one when you're ordering this. You also get inside the box though, this is a nice bag to keep the helmet nice and clean and dust free and scratch free when you're not wearing it. Now before you buy it, do check out the sizing guide to make sure you get the right helmet for you. And if you've got any questions, do please give the Bike Nation team a call. They'll be more than happy to help. Also subscribe to the Bike Nation channel. There are loads of videos on loads of helmets, so check those out. Also clothing and other accessories as well. We're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, we're all over social media, and I'll see you all very, very soon.